Good evening, my fellow Americans. The voices you hear in this video are not the real voices of these individuals. All voices have been AI generated and are strictly for entertainment purposes. Things get a little crazy and heated between us, so viewer discretion is advised. This video also in no way is meant to reflect any political views of mine or anyone else. Thank you for watching, and uh, I got sandbagged. All righty, boys, y'all ready to- Oh, I'm sorry, did you forget that the most exquisite man on planet Earth is in charge for this video? Oh, I forgot, my apologies. Here you go, Joe. Huh? What? No, dumbass me. If Joe is exquisite, then so is- Your mom. Hey guys, what's happening? Great, his whiny, high-pitched voice is back. Huh? Oh, wait. <clears throat> there we go, that better? I uh, still sound like a bitch, but it is what it is. Great. Anyway, Donald, I bet a lot of people really like the pictures only video. Oh, you think so? Let me get my phone out. All right, asshats, here you go. I really am bored of this. If you did a normal game, I'd actually watch. Can you do a normal game for once? Play normal plays? Donald blew this game just like he... Teehee. It's all right, Joe. It's all shits and giggles until someone giggles and shits. Ha ha ha. Damn it! All right, unlike Barry, I'm going to attempt to keep this short and sweet. Unlikely, but continue. First off, teammate pairing. Sleepy Joe, you're with Barry. Little Benjamin, you're with yours truly. Sounds good. Can't wait to- Now, before you get too excited to play with the best baseball player in existence, I'm telling you right now, I'm not dealing with your hypothetical or sake of the argument bullshit. Now, hold on. Let's just say for the- Second, you can pick any team you want and have any pitcher and lineup you want. Bibby Watt and Crown Team Barry. Nope. Ben and I will be the Dodgers since I was screwed three damn times from picking them because my teammates sucked. Actually, maybe we should Sounds be- Sounds good. Joe and I will be the best team in baseball currently. The Rays- Great, but Donald, I think we should- As for the stadium, I chose- Hold on, before you commit to whatever park you have in mind, can I just ask, are you looking for a hitter's park or pitcher's park? Don't do a pitcher's park again. I can't do pitchers only. That was a wacky mess, am I right? Joe, the park had nothing to do with it being pitchers only. I just want balance, not one or the other. Like, you remember the polo grounds, right? The most iconic stadium of all time? Ben, I'm fucking talking to Barry. Would you please shut the hell up? Yes, Donald, I remember the polo grounds, and you absolutely despised it, even though you guys hit well there. Okay, so I want the complete opposite of that. Okay, so if I remember the dimensions correctly, you want a stadium that's 483 feet down the lines and somewhere between 258 to 279 feet to dead center. That is not what I said. Well, that would be the complete opposite. No, what I want is the wall height to be the same throughout, no stupid gaps or power alleys or any of that. Sounds like you want the blank canvas stadium. Maybe Kauffman Stadium then? I'd agree, Ben. I'm not choosing it until I get some dimensions. According to Sports Illustrated, Kauffman Stadium is one of only two stadiums with symmetrical outfield dimensions and consistent wall height. Wow, thanks for the useless trivia. Now, can I have the dimensions, or are you going to read this whole damn article? 330 down the lines, 410 to dead center, and 387 power alleys. Ben, I said I didn't want power alleys. Donald, that's just what they're called. All stadiums have one, or two, I should say. Oh. All right, I'm tired. Good night. No, Joe, we're playing. So, Kaufman, Donald... Yeah, whatever, I'll pick it. But if there's one bit of bullshit, I'm going to be real pissed. All righty, our lineup is set, Donald. If it's fine with you, I'll play the first inning. Whatever, but why the hell is Mookie Betts our best hitter leading off? Uh, you just answered your own question, because he is our best hitter. He's got the best power against lefties out of everyone in our lineup, so if he hits a home run, who is he bringing home, Ben? Himself. That's it? If he hits a leadoff dinger, then yes. And you're perfectly fine with that? That is the most logical choice to you? Well, where would you want him to hit? Joe, you can play this inning. Yes, Daddy. I beg your pardon? To maximize his RBI opportunities, don't you think third or fourth make the most sense? Well, with today's analytics, it's best to have the player with the highest OBP leadoff. OBP? The hell is... No, switch him to third or fourth. Well, it's too late. We already started the game. Can't change the lineup order. Can I change my teammate? Whoa, time out. Jeez, what, Joe? There's a crown on top of that big video screen. That must mean this is the crown team, which could only mean one thing. Bibby Watt is here somewhere. I need to find him. Joe, neither of us picked the Royals, so he won't be here. No, he must be. Let me check the stands. He's probably there somewhere. Barry, I'm not doing this. Control your kid, please. Darn it. Barry, please don't be mad at me. Can't be mad when my expectations weren't high to begin with. Gem of an inning, Ben. Wait until I hit, Donald. 
Damn it, I forgot to turn off the announcers. I'll do it after this A-B. Mookie missile, and that's why he leads off, Donald. Phenomenal. You know what would have been even better if he did that while guys were on base? But he couldn't have because he's leading off due to you and your bullshit analytics. Okay, you know what, Donald? Let's just say hypothetically for the sake of the argument that he wasn't to lead off. Well, I warned you. Told you I wasn't doing any of that shit today. All right, Barry, read the list. List? What list? Ben, we have a list of people to be our fourth member for the next MLB episode. What the hell? Why? I told you no hypotheticals and you couldn't even make it past the first inning. All right, I'll stop. Nope, too late. Barry, read the list for the viewers, please. Just realized I gave up a home run. All right, so first on the list is Brett Cooper. Yes, please. Who? It's Ben's sister. She isn't my sister. She doesn't even have my last name. Nah, she's your sister. Literally looks just like you. Oh, damn. Yeah, I see it. But who is she? Is she running or something? She's literally the female version of Ben. Minus the whiny voice. I'm for Brett joining us. Well, your say doesn't matter since she would take your spot for the next episode, but we appreciate your useless vote. Next, I have Hillary or Bill Clinton. No and no. I like both, especially Bill. He's a real character. Oh, shucks. Why would you dive for that? Barry, I don't want either of them. Who else you got? I got an inside the parker coming. Ben, if you get stupid, I will be real pissed. Well, Donald, your say is moot. We are letting the viewers pick. Fucking hell, Ben. Well, I didn't expect Muncie to be that slow. And I really thought the offline throw would hurt them. It's Max Muncie, not Ricky fucking Henderson. Wake the hell up, Ben. Okay, next I got Andrew Tate. Oof, oh boy. Good Lord, Barry. Are you trying to get us canceled? He is incredibly misogynistic. Ooh, he can give a massage. Joe, that is not what misogynistic means. He's not even involved in politics, at least not to my knowledge. Well, neither are you, to be fair. Donald, I literally run a political podcast. Wouldn't know. I don't care to watch it. Probably nothing but hypotheticals. Nice hit, Barry. Great. Well, that'll tie it up. Go, Barry. Go, go, go. Carrying you as per usual. Who else is on this damn list? I can't imagine it getting any worse than Andrew fucking Tate. Bernie Sanders? I take back what I said. Feel the burn, motherfucker. Bernie is a socialist. Damn it. So he's like big on Twitter, Instagram, and all that? What? Ben said he's big on social media. I said he is a socialist. I don't know what that is, like a social butterfly? It's communism. Good Lord, this is not the direction I want this video to take. What's communism? Socialism. Socialism. For fuck's sake, no. They are both completely different. Joe, just do your own research and don't listen to either me or them. It's important that you find out for yourself and you make your own distinctions. Okay, Googling right now. Difference between social butterfly and communications. Just missed it. Who else is on this list? Uh, Ron DeSantis. Ha! Get his ass in here. I will rip him to shreds. Never heard of him. He's going to beat you in 2024, Joe. No, I'm going to beat Joe. No one stands a chance against the royal mighty Trump. Except for Joe in 2020. Because he fucking cheated. Nah, a bunch of malarkey. All right, anyone else on this shit list? So this one was kind of just for the memes. And maybe to scare Joe a little bit. Who would that be? The one and only Chris Hansen. Never heard of him. Nah, I find that hard to believe. You've never seen this guy just randomly appear in someone's kitchen or living room, Joe? Maybe someone you were visiting? I don't think so. Never told you to take a seat? Shit. Take a seat. Hmm. Oh my God. Barry, you cannot invite that man. I'll be screwed. Oh, come on. Way to cash in, Donald. Well, that was my list. So all of you watching at home, feel free to comment who should be in the next MLB The Show video. Or if I should be back. Not an option, dingus. Yay, Joe, you finally contributed. Oh, you just wait. I'm going streaking this inning. Jeez, move everybody. I'm going to throw up. Taylor made double play. Thanks, Joe. Did you fucking glitch out? What the fuck was that? This is going to be tough to explain, but I pressed triangle, then circle too quickly, which... Nah, hearing it come out of your whiny-ass mouth pisses me off even more. Don't let it cost us, Ben. Barry, did I get Ben in trouble? No, but Ben bailed you out of a spanking. Could have went for a good spanking. There it is. Good work, Ben. Shut up, Donald. Last time I checked, you haven't put up a single run. Uh-oh, don't throw it to two. Of course, Sleepy Joe gets bailed out again. Speaking of getting bailed out, what's your bail set at, Donald? <laughs> yeah, you're going to be screwed. Wrong and wrong. They're just scared of me and think they can get rid of me. The fake news and these fake charges won't stop me from taking over the Oval Office again. Nah, I'll stop your orange ass. You ain't stopping shit, Joe. Neither is Ben with that shitty throw. Looks like you finally got out of it, Ben. You got some catching up to do. Well, let me know when you would like to help out, too. 
Great hitting, Joe. Keep that up. I forgot to go streaking. That's perfectly fine. Uh, Good thing he's leading off. Piss off, Donald. This one is hit high and not deep. Nowhere near the track or the wall. And this ball is caught. Piss poor production so far from little Benjamin. Same could be said for you. Wow, that was a really productive segment, wasn't it? Screw you, Joe. No, screw you, Ben. Nice pitching, Joe. Screw you, Barry. Excuse me? Sorry, I got caught up in all the screwing. Leadoff man aboard. See how their leadoff man gets on base, Ben? Donald, that's literally their number six hitter. That's how you turn a double play, Ben. Did you get that down, little Benjamin? Don't start with this shit. Too easy, time to hit. I'll believe it when I see it. That's how you start things out, Ben. And notice how I stayed at first and didn't get stupid? No, you almost did, but pumped the brakes just in time. Towering shot. Nah, I just missed it and Barry knew it. Only thing I know is that you aren't living up to your own hype so far. What are you doing? Relax, I was trying to trick Donald. Well, it was an awful attempt. Phenomenal offensive performance, Donald. Barry lowered our sliders again. Oh, shut the hell up, Donald. You sound like such a damn Karen. Ha, huh, me? Have you heard Ben say anything? Every time Shit. he opens his mouth, it sounds like he's whining for the manager. Coming from the guy that cried for how long about getting beaten by Joe? See, there it is. You're literally a Karen, Ben. You're probably the type of person that would bitch at someone for not putting their shopping cart back where it goes. Uh, yeah, because degenerate people don't return their shopping cart. Please. They pay people to gather the stray carts. They pay people to get them from the return spot, not to gather them all over the damn parking lot. Donald, do you not put your cart back? Answer the question, Donald. I plead the fifth. What a lazy sack of shit. Joe, I'm getting tired. Can we crash here tonight? I don't mind, but I'll have to ask Jill. For real, Joe. Ask her what? This is literally your house. Well, should be mine, but you stole it from me. Get over it. Fine, I'll go ask. Barry, mute the game. I need to hear this. Same here. Jill, honey, the boys want to know if they can sleep over. That depends, Joe. Did you write your speech for tomorrow? Uh, yes. That's going to be trouble, Barry. Not as much trouble as Joe is about to be in. Oh, yeah? What's your opening line, then? Uh, please turn to chapter three of your textbooks. No, it's my fellow Americans, Joe. Are you kidding me? Whatever. Kamala will take care of it. Ouch! You are finishing that game, telling your friends no, and working on that speech for tomorrow. And if you fall again, Joe, I swear... I got sandbagged. Joseph. Fine. What'd she say? She said yes. No, I fucking didn't, Joe. Oh, shit. So did we all just completely disregard the fact that I tied things up? Damn it, Ben. Didn't notice. Was too invested into Joe getting chewed out by Jill. Wait, you guys could hear that? Will Smith slaps this one out of here. Had I known it was the guy that slapped Chris Rock, I would have thrown it at his head. Yeah, buddy, we heard everything. Sounds like you haven't been prepping for your speeches. We have teleprompters for a reason. I don't get what she's worked up about. Hmm, funny, I don't need that shit. Probably because you just bitch and argue with everybody. Well, it worked, did it not? You literally had to ask to stay in the house you were evicted from, so try and answer your own question. Really, Donald? Not even an attaboy for tying things up and getting the lead? Oh, little Benjamin, I'm so proud of you. I'll be sure to put a nice big sticker on your chart. Four more and you get a handshake from the best president of all time. I don't remember agreeing to this reward to shake Ben's hand. Ha ha ha. Whatever, just don't blow this game, Donald. Impossible. I'm as clutch as they come. Fuck. Tied up. Great clutchness, Donald. You know what, Ben? Maybe if Mookie wasn't leading off, this wouldn't have happened and we would have more runs. Donald, I'm not quite sure that would have- Be advised. Ben Shapiro, hypothetical inbound. The hell was that? So let's just say, hypothetically, for the sake of the argument, that I was to have Mookie bat third or fourth per your request. Ben, please, I'm not in the mood for your bullshit. You screwed up. Just accept it. I literally tied the game up, then gave us the lead just for you to come in and blow the save. You didn't even score us a run. Ben, I'm beating you in the polls. Shut your mouth. Jeez, Barry. Donald, I'm not even running. Because you're a coward? You're the one that- Ben, you're screwing me up with your whiny ass complaints. Thanks for making me blow this damn game. 
Looks like that'll give us the lead, Joe. Yay, so we won. Not quite, they still have to hit. Bro, why is Kershaw still in the game? Same reason Mookie Betts led off. Oh shit, Barry, we're in trouble now. It's Bruiser Gatorade. See, Ben stays quiet and I get the out. Coincidence? I think not. Or because you took out- Quiet. Well, can't complain, just like Ben, now we tied it up and got the lead. Per usual, I gotta clean up after Ben. After me, I didn't blow the game. I was the only offense. Little Benjamin, why are you getting so mad? Phenomenal. Not off to a good start, Donald. Before I make the same mistake as Donald, I think we should bring in our closer. Good call. What's a closer? Get out, 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 get out. Fucking horseshit game. Last out, Donald. Better make it count. Fucking hell. That should do it, Barry. Oh no, I got it, I got it. Yeah, uh, nice try. Way to go, Donald. Maybe if I didn't have the biggest Karen on my team that used stupid analytics to determine a lineup, I would have won. That's three in a row for Barry as well. Damn right, so suck it, you two. Way to go, Ben. Let Barry get three wins in a row because of your bullshit. I'm over it, Donald. I was the only one to contribute this game. You're damn right you are. You told me to pick this stadium and picked a shitty lineup order. So way to go, Ben. I'm taking that sticker off your chart, by the way. All righty, guys. Well, wait, Barry. Also, everybody, we are going to start opening sports cards on another channel. Once the channel hits 1,000 subscribers, we will upload our first video. Well, we kind of stole it from the guy that runs this channel because, well... Because his videos over there are shit, too. That's nice. Well, everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And comment who will replace little Benjamin in the next MLB episode. I didn't blow this damn game.